I want to begin by describing student A. Student A attended community college as a first generation student and worked full time to make ends meet. National statistical research tells us that student A has several of the background characteristics that when present can increase the likelihood of early departure or dropout. There are many students like student A, and I'll tell you what happens to this student soon. Research also tells us that there are factors that can increase retention or persistence to graduation. Retention matters. 41% of students nationwide who enroll in college will drop out before completing their degree. Idaho trails the nation, and over 49% of our students will drop out before graduation. The state of Idaho has set a goal that 60% of its citizens aged 25 to 34 would have a post-secondary degree or certificate by 2020. In order to achieve this goal, Idaho institutions of higher education need to act now through program or policy development in order to achieve this. The Career Path Internship Program, or CPI program, at Idaho State University was designed to give students real-world work experience. Students in this program can graduate with both a degree and experience in their field. To date, over 6,000 students have participated in this program. I conducted in-depth research with these students, with 40 students, to find out why they enrolled in college and why they persisted. What I found was that the CPI program connected students to factors known to increase retention, such as a connection to their field of study, we call that academic integration, as well as regular and consistent faculty interaction. Finally, this was a paid internship and assisted students in meeting their financial needs. Financial needs were a significant issue for students in my study. So what does this type of research tell us? What does it help us to understand? What I found was that 80% of the students in my study had three or more characteristics that indicated a higher likelihood of dropout. Yet 80% were graduating within six years, markedly higher than Idaho's current 50% graduation rate. What this tells me is that future programs that connect components that are known to increase retention for students can increase student graduation outcomes. So what happened to student A? Student A not only beat the odds, but is standing here today presenting her doctoral research. I challenge you to ask yourself, what can you do to advocate for program funding and policies that connect students with factors known to increase retention? Thank you.